This is Gary Atensu with CNTV, and today we're in Colorado. I'm here with Pioneer Construction. Since 2016, this licensed and insured construction and roofing company has provided quality craftsmanship and professional service to homeowners and commercial clients in and around southern Denver. I'm joined with the founder. Noah, thanks for joining us here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Let's start off a little bit about yourself. Uh, you were formally educated at Colorado State University in Pueblo, where you received a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration and a major in Business Management. Your past experience prior to starting your own company has been working with the Broadmoor Marriott Hotels. You've also worked as an inspector on construction jobs and also in the appraisal industry. Share with me a little bit how construction, the passion for that, got started for you. Yeah, so I always kind of was born with a hammer in my hand. My, my dad had a construction business when I was a kid, so in the summers I would always work with him. Uh, when I graduated high school, I was a fourth generation uh, Klingon who worked for the same construction company as well. Uh, didn't really care for construction when I was younger, and I moved out to Colorado, jumped in the hospitality industry, uh, got my uh, degree, and found myself as a building inspector for the city. So if you're building a deck, building a home, I came in, made, inspected it, made sure it was up to code, kind of stole all that code knowledge. Uh, I noticed uh, a lot of homeowners had complaints about contractors just not communicating, bad quality. I seen the opportunity and I just kind of ran with it. So Here we are today. Yes, sir. All right. We live in the beautiful state of Colorado. Um, you serve the Colorado Springs area, Castle Rock, pretty much southern Denver area. Um, do you enjoy projects that not only beautify your client's home, but really um, great curb appeal for everyone who lives here. Absolutely. It's nice taking something that doesn't look great and turning it into something beautiful. And the satisfaction of providing that service to the homeowners has been has been really nice because it's it's I'm just as excited for, for them uh, to see the project turn from one thing to it to the next. To, um, so yeah, I've I've absolutely loved it. That's excellent. I mean, some of us are lucky enough to buy our dream home. But for many of us, we truly create our dream home, sometimes one room at a time. Um, is remodeling um, enjoyable for you, getting to know your client and kind of turning that room into their vision? Yeah, absolutely. I, I love to see what they want to do with it and enhance it if I can, give some give some advice. And, and like I said, taking something from the beginning, turning it into what they envision uh, is, is, a, is, a, is a great satisfaction. I mean, the room that all of us start out with every morning is our bathroom. Um, they say we spend 182 hours a year in our bathroom. An upscale dream bathroom is a desire for many people. Is that your area that you can go in and uh, does your company enjoy doing that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We uh, Bathrooms you can do a lot of different things with, uh, especially nowadays with the body sprayers and uh, different different tiles and accents. So. That's that's definitely a fun one to do, especially when you're you're looking at an older bathroom and you turn it into a nice modern bathroom that you see on TV, uh, and and people love it. So we all see them on TV. We see them in the magazines. I mean, the bathroom is not only a place of beauty; um, it must also be functional. We're actually working in there. Mm -hmm. How important is making sure that your work stands up to that daily use? And do you enjoy putting in some of those perks, some technology that people enjoy? Yeah, right now we're doing uh, a pretty nice bathroom. Uh, has the bidet, uh, the light up LED mirrors, the body sprayers, um, the floating vanity. It looks like it's floating in the air with no legs. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a lot of cool technology now, and it, it's 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 a lot of fun transforming. It's like putting their their bathroom into the future, you know. So, so it's, exactly, it's something we all enjoy every morning. Yeah. I mean, when you walk into an outdated room, regardless if it's a bathroom, a kitchen, or whatnot, um, do you help your client kind of envision what this is going to look like for them? And is it kind of like a blank slate for you that you can kind of put your years of experience in there? Yes, yes, and no. I don't okay. like to do interior design uh, so much. Uh, I give my two cents on what a lot of other people are doing. Uh, I try to keep my opinion out of it as much as possible. I give them recommendations or, or um, refer them to an interior designer. I, I try to stay out of the design part uh, as much as possible, but I do give I do give my input. Uh, I kind of leave it up to the homeowner what they want, and we make it, we make it work. So. so you're pretty much years on that job. Listen to what they want. 
and you go out and get it done. Absolutely. Obviously, your expertise does not end in the bathroom. Your craftsmanship can extend out into the kitchen. I mean, the kitchen's the hub of any home. And can an updated kitchen add value to almost any home? Absolutely. Uh, kitchen, bathrooms uh, definitely add a lot of, a lot of uh, value to the homes. I've seen a lot of people over the years, especially with the crazy house market we've had yeah. here, um, giving that nice touch, the granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, uh, definitely makes a warm, welcoming feeling when you go to sell a home. Um, so I'm seeing a lot of people definitely put the money in the bathrooms or the kitchens. Absolutely. I mean, if you're in the kitchen most of the time, I always say, why not make it look great? Be proud of it. Um, when it comes to before and after pictures, and delivering that wow factor. Is that kind of fun for you? You're watching, watching the client's eyes. Absolutely. It's, it's like I said, probably one of the most satisfying, satisfying yeah. things that you could do for a homeowner is, wow, this is more than what I expected. Add a couple of little touches maybe they weren't expecting. Um, and, and creating that wow factor like you, you talked about. And that's that I've learned has brought clients over and over uh, referrals. And it's, yeah, definitely. Excellent. As we move to the outside of the home, from patios to stamped concrete decks, I imagine you can add some nice curb appeal for any home out there and enable us to maybe enjoy our summer Colorado weather. Absolutely. Yep, we do uh, stamped concrete patios. That's a big one right now. You can do the wood plank looks. You can do different designs, two, two colors, different tones. So absolutely, that's a big one right now. Um, people are kind of getting away from the decks because... <laughs> Because of the wood, it doesn't last as long, and, and concrete will last a little bit longer as long as you keep keep it, uh, the sealer on it. And then the patios, you know, the sun's great here, but it's a little intense. So a lot of people love to have that covered patio in their backyard. The sun's great here. The rain's okay. It seems hail season is here. It's upon us. Is that time of year when our roofs take a beating? For those who are not sure if there maybe a damage has occurred, is that something your team can go out and do and see what they can help with? Absolutely. I get a lot of people that say, well, I'm going to I'm gonna call my insurance adjuster first. That's, that's a mistake. Um, you want a contractor to come out first, verify there's actually damage. Because if you make that claim and they find a minimal damage, sure. now it's a $1,000 claim and your deductible is $1,000. So you really want to have a contractor come out, inspect that roof, make sure it actually has damage before you make that claim that can actually hurt your premiums in the future. And I would almost say every time it's going to come in short, their job is not to basically make sure you get the best for them, but just make sure you have a little bit that uh, you needed. That's important, very so. Um, you make it a point to really get to know your customer, get to know your clients, um, listen to their ideas. Does this continue to be rewarding for you, even though um, earlier you weren't even in the construction because you had been, been in your blood, you know? Yeah. But is this something you actually end up Really enjoying. I, I really do. Uh, and when I said I was, when I was younger, I, I did my time. I did, I did the labor and uh, I, I don't care so much for the work. And that's why I'm the general contractor. Yeah. And I, but I love the management. I love yeah. the interaction with the customers. Um, I love, I love just the day to day, um, bringing supplies, checking on my guys. And um, it does bring a lot of satisfaction to me. Absolutely. Now, if I was out there having to do the work, probably not as much. But well, he'd like, so you're at Marvel the hammer, but you've kind of set it down. Yeah. And now managing the guy. Kind of set it down and, and manage it. And and, and, look, and and don't get me wrong. Sometimes I have to jump in short staffs and I'll, and I'll do it. And uh, so there there are times I have to get my hands dirty. Absolutely. But uh, I enjoy more the the interaction with the customers and, and making sure that we're, we're giving them the service that they hired us for. Excellent. Viewers, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. On the website, you can see all the services they provide. They've got a great Facebook page out there. We can take a look at many projects they've completed, uh, be it roofing, basements, kitchen, bath, remodel, flooring, tile. You can get a free estimate today. Just give them a call. They're basically serving Colorado Springs, Castle Rock, and southern Denver uh, throughout those areas there. Now, they do offer a senior citizen and military discounts that are and they're also accredited with the Better Business Bureau. Um, after you've read their many five-star reviews, reach out to this locally owned and operated company. Once again, that is Pioneer Construction, providing quality craftsmanship and professional service to homeowners and commercial clients in and around Denver. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs>